Hey, this is Simple Lamb, Joseph Lamb, Dot Lamb, what are you gonna call me? Anyway, I'm out here letting the dogs use the restroom, but all is good. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My dogs are funny. They really is. They can mean They put use the bathroom, but they right here sniffing like they're hungry. You see that? They know they're hungry. I brought them out here to use the restroom, but instead, they want to play, use the, uh, eat the grass stuff. I want to get the one for. Hey, use the bathroom and go, go. Use the bathroom, how about? So, anyway, I got nothing planned today, but, uh, I guess we're going to start a little series of, uh, don't turn the, uh, the church doors now. I guess it's just going to talk about different things inside the church. Uh, how a lot of people, a lot of churches, uh, they so traditional with a lot of stuff to uh, they don't really uh, do a lot of soul saving, a lot of witnessing. They uh, a lot of traditional churches are judgmental, everything the devil, everything hell bound, and everything is wrong. But now that we older and stuff and have matured in technology and like wisdom and stuff. We know that certain things, I'm saying, is uh, is like our nature, and something is just life, and something is they not the devil. I, th I think we get the devil so much credit and so much stuff until we forget. You know what I'm saying? That who made the devil? But um, like my, my, one, one thing I, I, I'm gonna easily uh, uh, discuss is like uh, like some people like especially I, I'm sanctified, so I, I go to sanctified church. A lot, a lot of sanctified people, they don't believe people should come to church with Christians. They don't believe um, the, the grimmer should have colored hair out of dude should have like locks uh braided hair but i'm saying but i think i'm saying that um if you really like him because the red and certain things when he said certain things well when paul was saying certain things to the church about certain things he even said what he have a woman be silent he was talking about the order in time when i say that i mean the uh whether when you when you're in rome you operate as a roman so uh I, the Bible does say that obey the laws of the land, and the Bible uh, also uh, tell you, let me say, let this mind be in you that's inside Christ Jesus. So, for the people who say that people can't come to church with piercing or they can't color their hair, I'm saying this body. The Bible tells that this body is temporary. This body is, is not our own. The Bible, the Bible does also say the, uh, that we're gonna be changed. I'm saying we, we, we are spiritual beings, temporary inside a flesh body. So this this, this body. It's like it's not it's not here forever. I'm saying this body gonna leave here. So I don't see nothing wrong with the issue of a woman having a yellow hair, a pink hair, a blue hair, a purple hair. I'm saying it's not gonna it they had to do with her soul. Her soul is saying internal. Uh it, it's it's saying past and physical. You know what I'm saying? The Bible serve God in spirit and serve God in truth. So I don't know. I just grew a lot of stuff. Um I like uh, I think a young lady joined uh, a church I was attending one time and you know, on they told her that she need to color her hair like black order to be inside a quiet i'm like i'm saying well dog i'm saying it's her, her it's her color hair you're gonna make an impact that bad where people can't receive the gospel i uh, receive the, the praise of verse because her hair a different color but people stuff like that people get caught up on the city stuff and no one want to address it you know what i'm saying no one want, want to take charge and all uh, and like I'm saying, like come as you are. You know what I'm saying, now when I say come as you are, we gotta be careful there too. It don't necessarily mean that come, like come doing the church and doing any old thing that's had a church. It means I'm saying come as you are, and it's being who you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I mean you can't. It, it's a ministry for everything. You know what I'm saying? So um, church is full of the sinners. I'm saying it, the, the church is like a hospital. There's nobody inside the church is perfect. And nobody inside the church is exempt. You know what I'm saying nobody inside the church is sinless. The pastor, the bishop, the uh, the prelate. Nobody is not a for ten sin. We all have sin come short of the glory of God. We all were sinless. We wouldn't ever leave Jesus. So that means that it defeated the, the purpose of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So it defeated the whole motto for Christian you know what I'm saying, if we think we was perfect beings. But anyway, back to what I was saying, though, I'm saying that, uh, that I'm saying, I think the church means that, that I, I was saying the ministry is every, it's, it's all types of ministry for everybody. Like I be like, it's it's, it's a person missing for me. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's a color hair missing for somebody. I mean that s some people will never allow certain people to get up on them. 
like you know, for instance, like you know how like everybody automatic, automatically run from Jehovah Witnesses, they come to the door, they don't answer the door. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Our people avoid people with shirt and tie. This is not a shirt and tie generation. It's, it's, it's not where that. So, sometimes shirt and tie people can't get in certain places, or, or certain locations. But I'm saying, but sometimes people with gold teeth and pistons, or people with, with yellow hair, or blonde hair, can get in the certain places that a, another a, a, a average person with a ponytail can get in. And the whole point of, of ministry is, is like to, it's like to like to to draw. You know what I'm saying? And bring people to Christ. So, 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 so I mean, like I'm saying, we got to be able to be, um, be able to relate. You know what I'm saying? We can't be uppity what we uh, think that we something that we are or not. Because so you didn't come out your mama uh, vagina, you know what I'm saying, with no uh, your hair and a ponytail. You came out a whole hot mess, but you had to clean yourself up or accordingly. So the same thing with being spiritual. As I said, you got you to gotta clean yourself up. Or calling when you be able to be a witness, I be able to uh, to be accepted in certain places. So I'm I'm not saying that go get piercing like I have color hair and, and say it's for witnessing. I'm just saying that but if that's you and that's saying you have experience, there's nobody a better witness for that than you because I'm saying that, that you don't live the life. So so now your testimony says look where he brought me from. You know I have like piercing like gold teeth or yellow hair. What have you saying? Look, he still used me. So that's what I'm trying to say. But people so quick to, to judge, uh, people so, admit, uh, so so quick to say who ain't saved and who is saved based on how they look on the outlet. You know I'm saying there's a problem with the trip saying you look on the outlet stuff. Saying people might talk about high voice. You know what I'm saying if they don't make them a soprano, you know what I'm saying. But pe people that's always so judgmental. You know what I'm saying and they, and they miss the mark. You know what I'm saying because they looking with their natural eye, but yet they are spiritual people. Hmm, good point. But uh, you know. The types I'm talking about, talking about my series. I'm saying uh, another thing uh, too, uh, but don't, don't close the church doors. That I understand that uh, we live a life. We got an LG. Uh, we got the gay community and stuff. And some people are married and stuff. Like that. And I, I'm, I'm not saying it's right or wrong to marry the same sex or whatever. I'm saying, but I am saying that. I'm saying, but the same Bible that you're preaching. You know I'm saying you gotta be careful too. I'm saying. And get over here, uh, bro. Kept us to the Bible said, obey the laws of the land. So I'm not saying it's, it's, a, it's a pass, but I'm saying, but if the law saying they can marry them, saying is married, then, then and God say not to marry. I understand too, but he, he told you it's like it's like like a really if it's just with my point today is that that just for instance like uh what sin is the biggest sin uh. Where do sin begin? You know what I'm saying? Um, so that, my question would be that I'm saying that if you have a uh, homosexual uh, marriage, right? And we know the Bible always talk against it in certain parts, what have you. But they say, okay, now the sin will be committed already. Once you repent, the sin over it, right? So what happened to the person that don't, that's, that's, that inside a situation like that and they don't repent it from it? And, uh, but they still have legal terms as being legally, uh, illegally, uh, married. So is it right for them? Is, do they pose a divorce that person, which is another sin, that's a willingness sin, but do they, do they divorce that person and go on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just careful. What people say about that, but, uh, but I'm, I'm just wondering, saying, but sometimes I feel like I'm saying that, uh, that I know Paul said, let us not continue in sin. So that's a question I have. You know what I'm saying uh, on this first series right here. I don't know how I got there, but I'm curious that if you have a gay marriage, you know what I'm saying, and y'all, y'all, y'all married already, and the sin already committed, y'all done. Have, but yet, yet y'all not having sex with them anymore but y'all still together y'all still married right now do, do do the pastor encourage them to divorce which is a sin you know what i'm saying uh i mean how we had a situation you know i'm saying these things like that i mean touch issue you know i'm saying i mean we have we have we have some saints that uh they're gonna try to probably find me up with uh with scripture and i'm gonna find them back up too with scripture i'm not saying either way right away or wrong or not wrong i'm just saying this is a little debate thing here i don't think i'm saying so what should a person do, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Bishop, I'm saying, if they inside a gay marriage, I'm saying, 
and they repent, what have you, and do, do, do you encourage them to sing and willingly to the voice again? And you can't say that they're not, they're not, they're not bound because they are bound by law because the, the Bible say obey the laws of the Lamb. So I'm saying, what, uh, uh, so what's before, um, so what, what's acquired in Rome, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you, um, you know, Rome, um, we, we live in Rome, you, you, um, you are dictated about Rome. So, that can be iffy. I mean, I, I got, I got the right answer for that, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to let this marinate, you know what I'm saying, and get on social media and see the sponsor this before I go forward. But again, this is Joseph Lamb, Simple Lamb, Dollar Lamb. My dog don't got tired I'm talking. I'm going to lay it down on the curve. Like she ain't bothered. You know I'm saying, by the way, she had babies in eight days, but she just like, she out here just like in the sun soaking up. Uh, bro, come on. <whistles> Our baby from the last little over there somewhere. Come here, bro. Over there. Come here. In the woods. You think you're a deer. Look at him. But anyway, that's the subject I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying. So. It can go either way. I mean, it can debate. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious of some of your, um, y'all responses and stuff. I'm saying, but uh, like I said, hit me up on my YouTube channel at Simply Lamb. Either hit me back on Instagram. You know what I'm saying, comment, what have you. you know what I'm saying, uh, I also got a website, a website, www.simplylamb.me. Um, I'm traditional in some way, but I'm not. But these are certain things that on my series, uh, don't close the church doors. Now, I want to discuss things that are debatable. Uh, uh, not contradicting, but things that are, uh, that, I mean, that, 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 that are due or required answer. Uh, my, my next, my next time I'm going to talk about, too, I'm saying, what do you do about, I'm saying, the transvestite, you know I'm saying, they don't have operation, they, they got titties and stuff, but they still have their penis, but they, but they got titties now, and they get delivered. <laughs> how do you accept those inside a church? Uh, how will you, how will you address them as he or she? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there's, there's, there's a lot of things inside the church and that goes on, and this day this time is different. You know what I'm saying? So my whole point of the series of don't close the church doors now is that dealing with real life stuff, stuff that goes on. You know what I'm saying that I'm saying that, that, that's this here that's existed that people don't want to talk about, but I want to talk about it. So uh, you know, stay tuned, follow me, subscribe on um, uh, sub, 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 subscribe, excuse me, on YouTube at Simply Lamb. If not, you can catch me on IG. But uh, it's simply lamb. But uh, but these the issues I want to talk about. So I'm ready to open that can of worms up. I'm saying, so y'all come on with the floodgates. I'm saying, try to come for me. So be careful, don't come. As I said, but I got you though. I'm saying, but uh, I'm ready. All right, talk to y'all later, yo.